The next question type we're looking at is uh, select the missing word or select missing word. So let's go into our quiz, go down to add. In this case, we go add a new question. Scroll right to the bottom and just below other, we have select missing word, we select add. We're going to put in the name of our quiz this time. And we're up to question number five. Here we go. I'm going to put the question text in. Now this is going to look a little bit different than what you're normally used to when we put this in. All right, we've just added our question in. Now you notice that we have all of these extra brackets and text and things inside there. This is because when the question was put together by the person that wrote the questions, they've put in two options. Illustrators are often more, and then the option is art focused or overall design. We're going to put in there the word focused and create individual images or complete compositions. So there's two answers for each one of these. That continues on. Illustrators may produce individual pieces of vector or photographic art. And you need to choose, the student has to choose which is the correct answer from those two. Further down, illustrators primarily design vector or photographic images. Notice that these two are the same, vector photographics and then vector photographic. So we can reuse part of our questions for that, but let's have a look at how we combine that down here with our options for this question type. The default mark is one. Uh, we can have an ID number, we can also have some feedback. But then we have here choice one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we have A, 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 A as the group. So let's just do one thing at a time. Let's go and grab our first answer is art focused. So let's grab art focused and I'll put that in as our first answer. We'll also grab our second answer, overall design focused, and put that in. So this is in both in group A, and these groups are really important. What we do is we grab this number over here for the correct answer, and we just copy that, and we put that in here as a replacement for both of those. And I've put the one in, so the two brackets and the number one goes in there, and that means that the correct answer is art focused, rather than overall design focused. Now because they're both from group A, and I've chosen a choice that is part of group A, everything in group A, or every answer or choice in group A, is going to be shown in this option, in this drop down that's going to appear for them. So I don't want these answers here to be displayed with these ones. So when I put these in, I'm going to change them to group B. So I'll put this one in, and I'll make this group B. And this one here, I'll make it group B as well. And that way we don't have an overlap of our choices overlapping with the other groups. So the correct answer here is individual images. So we'll grab number three and put the correct answer in, number three. Remember, number three is part of group B, so only this answer and this answer will appear in the drop-down list because that's the, the group Bs. Now we'll tick shuffle, and that just means that in each drop-down list, they'll actually shuffle the order around when we answer the question. Okay, the next one, we've got vector, and we have photographic. So vector, and we're gonna Make these group C and photographic and group C. Now the correct answer is actually vector for both. So what I can do here is I can go five and I can replace that one with number five and I can also replace this with number five because they are actually the same answer. If uh, the answer happened to be related to photographic, so we could change this comment that's in here. We could just change it to digital cameras uh, commonly used for
and use number six instead. So five or six means vector and photographic will appear as the two drop as the drop down in groups in group C. Uh, for this one here, and that can give us digital cameras are commonly used for vector design or for photographic design. Or we can change that to images if it makes more sense for the sentence to be more logical. But I just want to change that around to show you how that works. So we're using 5 and 6. The correct answer is 5. The correct answer is 6, depending on which one is being displayed. Now let's see what that looks like as an end result. So hopefully that's made a bit of sense. Uh, Art focused oval design are in group A. Just here for that one. And the correct one is answer is number 1. In this case, the correct answer number 3 is part of group B. So they're the two items that will appear in the next drop down. And then number five and number six will appear in the next drop down, but we've only used five and six, but they'll both appear together. So let's save changes and let's preview to see what it looks like. So illustrators are more often art focused or overall design focused, we'll say art focused, and create individual images or complete compositions. More often, illustrators are creating individual images that become parts of a bigger composition. Illustrators may produce individual pieces of photographic or vector. We'll choose vector. Notice that the drop-down list here is vector and photographic again, except the correct answer. Digital cameras are commonly used for photographic images rather than vector. Let's fill in the correct, response, correct responses and it should actually fill in exactly the same, it won't change. So we're all good and that's all done and I hope that made a lot of sense. That's how we use select missing word type in a quiz in middle 4.0.